What is going on, YouTube? Lex Express checking in with even more news about the Xbox One. <laughs> they finally revealed the description. Uh, well, not the description. More general information. First of all, we always knew that our gamer tag was going to port over, correct? Yeah, not only the gamer tag, uh, your Microsoft Live uh, membership. I mean, yeah, the, however much you have left on your account, it'll transfer. Transfer over. over. Supposedly, uh, this is not fully confirmed because they didn't say yes. The gamer, the achievements are transferring over. Did they say that specifically like that or no? I'm sure you will. If, if, I'm if sure they will. If your info is transferring over, it's all the achievements. They, but they haven't officially said, hey, your achievements, all of them going over. They haven't said that, okay. but we're assuming it is. So now that we know the membership is going over, the gamer tag is obviously going over. You know, there's still more titles coming out for the 360. There's a new 360 that was released, but this video is not even about that. It's about general information about the Xbox One. And the biggest news that, you know, people didn't even think the Xbox would go this high, but it's going to be priced at $499, $500. Plus tax, it comes out to like five thirty four, depending on the, the state taxes and all that. And crap. that's us considering the fact that it probably won't come with a game. It ain't coming with a game, but it's coming with Connect. Another thing that we gotta we gotta put out there is that every month, well, are right, you saying this because you well, saw? That's for it. the Xbox three hundred and sixty, I think. Well, I don't know if it's gonna be on the Xbox One, but um, From starting the, soon or at the, this point coming up. Um, Every month, two free games are going to be given out. The first games that are going to be free are going to be the Halo 3 and Assassin's Creed 2. They're going to be members. given out free yeah, for, if you have a gold membership. And we forgot to mention, the release date for the Xbox One is going to be in November. November. November 2013 is going to be um, a big month. Tally count right now on the games. The PS4 has uh, 44, 44 games coming out by launch uh, date, well, launch release time. And then uh, launch, the yeah. Xbox has uh, 40. 40, so the PS3, I mean the PS3, the PS4, PS4 has the upper four. hand, up yeah. 4, not a big deal. Um, and this is definitely going to be part of this general information video real quick. Microsoft finally announced Halo coming out in 2014. That is actually sooner than expected because Halo 4 was released, you know, the last year, at the end of last year. So having a Halo come out in like about, I don't know, I guess another year or so, that is actually pretty big news. Because, I mean, at least, I don't know if people expected it. At least I didn't expect it when they showed that uh, that uh, teaser trailer. We both thought it was Assassin's Creed because it was a guy in, in like, a random yeah, with deserted the robe, place whatever. with a robe. Yeah, with sand and shit. And, and then, then he looks up and he takes off the thing. Takes off the robe and it's uh, the Spartan. You know, the Spartan helmet. So you're assuming that it's... Uh, I'm having a brain fart. I can't even remember the okay, guy's point name. is that it's Halo. It's Halo. Halo's coming out finally. And there's been a lot of... Um, a lot of talk. All right, I took a quick pause. I'm not gonna edit that out. There's been a lot of talk between you know the the, the analyst or whatever on Spike TV that uh, it, the the price is steep, and I think we both can agree that it's steep. It is steep. It should be at 400. That's just my opinion on it. The fact, I mean, and hopefully it comes with a game at least. The only reason why I don't think it's completely steep, even though it is, it is. I'm not going to hide away from that. It's because it's coming with, you know, the new Connect 2.0. And just that alone, it's worth easily 100 or above. And it's coming with it already. Um, the PS4, they didn't announce that theirs is coming uh, with the a camera. So. Is what we're, we're lacking a lot of information, too. We don't know if game prices are going to go up. So if they do go up, it is a steep price for a console. If, if game prices are going to shoot up 10 more dollars... That'll be a disappointment right yeah. there. And, yeah. The only good thing about this is that we're basically getting a, a, a computer at $500. No, not only that. And they're giving us... We have plenty of months to save up. If, if, yeah. if you got to no, save up towards no it, there's no excuse to not no get excuse. the console, no matter what price it comes You can out. save about 50 bucks, 60 bucks, and you'll have enough money to get the yeah. Xbox and some games. Well, however, so. the problem is that you're going to want Call of Duty. You're going to want Madden. You're going to want NBA. Tell these people right now... You get all right. You got the and money for the games, Xbox. These are the games you gotta. Get. No, no, we gotta limit it. Two games. Two games. Two games. You're getting on if launch you're a sports day. fan. You gotta get Madden or NBA. No, no, no. Forget about them. What about you? I want to know about no, you. Two my games. game, Call of Duty Ghost. No That's matter what. One, one. And then then NBA one 2K. And this is the problem with that I have with NBA 2K coming out. It's coming out October first. An entire month. I'm an pretty sure. Month I'm and pretty a half sure. Probably because the, the the console might come out like mid November. November mid November. Yeah. yeah, I know it's not coming out late November because then it'll run into you know early it's December early and Thanksgiving. Call of Duty release date yeah. and all that. They want early to middle. Majority November, of people are gonna get Call of Duty Ghost for as their first game. I'm holding off. Sure. I'm, I'm holding off. I'm holding off on, on everything. I'm not buying no more 360. 
It's just pointless at this point. Said, you know, I was thinking of this when I stepped out of the room for a second. The good thing about this is that the 360 will not lose value immediately because there's still a lot of important titles coming out. Oh, yeah, they, they, today, today they released a brand new 360, even slimmer, supposedly the so, quietest one. Um, they got to keep adding games. You know, you know what that means for us? That we could trade in our bunch of games or our handful of games. With the console, and we're gonna get at least nearly two hundred dollars off the next gen console. So we're gonna get the new console for like about three hundred bucks. I think right. that's a good deal. I mean, you're you're you're. Well, that's considering you traded into what GameStop or Best Buy. Yeah, well, Best Buy doesn't accept consoles right now, but so I guess I'm go. I guess I'm going to Best Buy or Craigslist. Craigslist or Best Buy or eBay even. As long as you can make a profit, you guys, you, there's no excuse to not get the console. To no, be no, honest. no. I, bro, my, I have my con, I've had my and, 360 and, since 2009. And in no way, shape, or form are we guiding you towards getting an Xbox. You are free to, you know, obviously go get the oh, PS4. Oh yeah, you're gonna get the you PS4. Trying to, you know, I'm getting both. Hands down, I'm getting both. Get an edu- make an educated decision. Make a, do your research. They're both great consoles. I'm sure they're both gonna be good. No, no, they're both gonna be disgusting. But forget it. My my main console. I was saying it today. <clears throat> Xbox. Xbox. Yeah, forget Xbox. it. Xbox is where is that? I love. I've played Sony, the the PlayStation. You know the Sony since you know PS One or PlayStation. You know for the longest, and I've been a fan. I've been on and off recently, but Xbox. I said they take the cake with the online, bro. The, the their Xbox Live is just. It's just, just not. Much. It's not easy for the PlayStation to compete when the greatest game of all time, aka Call of Duty. The best at everything game of all goes. Time. Everything goes first to the Xbox. First. A month ahead, like that's the biggest advantage. Like if you if you're gonna buy it, cause the console line came out, and your favorite game is Call of Duty, and you gotta choose between the PS4 and the Xbox, and they're telling you all the DLC, all the content is everything is first on the Xbox. Where are you gonna go? Oh, that right there is gonna already steal. I don't know a shitload of audience, a shitload of gamers for the Xbox. That sucks for the PS4. I will tell you this though. Both controllers are good. Both I'm, controllers I'm are impressed good. with the PS4 controller. I've always been a fan of the PS4, but I can't, I can't, you can't even say that because the Xbox controller looks amazing as well. It looks mean. So I'm going to be wrapping up this video just saying getting the Xbox One, as I said on my earlier videos, day one. I'm going to have my unboxing of it. I'm sure he'll have his channel ready to have his unboxing on it as well. Uh, just if you guys want to add. Uh, at least me, I don't know about him, to uh, my gamer tag that I will be using for the Xbox is Lex Express, same as my YouTube. So find me on there. Hit me up down in the comments. Let me know what you guys are going to be getting, PS4, Xbox. Let me know the games you guys are getting, what you like from E3 so far. So far, E3 has kicked off real strong, and I can't wait to see what the studios, uh, the gaming studios, the publishers have to offer. And I can't wait to see a Sony press conference, which we, we will be they covering. They got some Forza gameplay live right now. Yeah, they got Forza some live gameplay. Forza looks amazing, by the way. Forza does look amazing. I'm getting that shit first day. All right, so that's about it, YouTube. Lex Express checking in, checking out.